Hey guys, what's going on? So if you're starting the Odin project, it can be pretty tricky to get everything set up for the first time, especially if you've never done anything like this before. So if you're using Windows, stay tuned. I'm gonna walk you guys through step-by-step step on getting set up with the Odin project. Let's jump into it. So when you first start the Odin Project Foundations, you'll end up here. This is where you'll land on the introduction when you get to the installation overview portion. So the Odin Project wants you to use one of these two operating systems because they let you do more back-end related things. So don't worry too much about that now if you're just starting off. Just know that in the long term, it lets you do more than you can do on Windows easier. So here are your options. You have Mac and you have Linux. If you guys have a MacBook, this video is not for you. Go next, go next, <laughs> all right? But if you're running on Windows, you're gonna have to dual boot or get a virtual machine. Now, I'm not gonna cover dual booting in this video because um, I honestly don't recommend it for a beginner. I just had to wipe my computer because I got a grub error from dual booting. Granted, I could have probably fixed it a different way, but I didn't know how to. I wasn't comfortable with that, and I ended up losing a lot of stuff, all right? So if you're gonna decide to dual boot, I will give you a recommendation before you click off the video. Just make sure you back up everything, okay? Now, if you guys are gonna run a virtual machine, then I'm here, keep watching, let's go, all right? So now, a virtual machine is pretty much a computer within a computer. It's like the matrix. You're like setting up a little computer that can run whatever you want it to within your computer. Your computer is like hosting this. And it allows you to have a closed off workspace, right? Where you can use the backend languages, you can use the terminal and the command line, but still have your Windows PC. And if anything gets corrupted within the virtual machine, guess what? It's not gonna affect your Windows. Now there are some downsides to using a virtual machine over dual booting. The first, dual booting, way faster. Superior speed, superior performance, because it's running using all of your computer's hardware, right? You're getting all the resource value. Now when you run in a virtual machine, those resources are not only cut in half while your computer is operating, but then they're split between each of your machines or your operating system. So your Windows is using a certain amount of allocated resources and so is your virtual machine. So if you're ping pong between both, they're both slower. So that is the biggest drawback to using a virtual machine, okay? You can still use dual monitors and everything and set that up, but the biggest drawback is the fact that your performance will be slower. If you have an older computer or less, you know, powerful hardware, you're gonna notice some delays. Like maybe when you drag a window around, it might skip, it might not feel so fluid, but I still highly recommend that if you're a beginner over dual booting. All right, so let's continue through the walkthrough here. So they want you to download VirtualBox and Zoom Ubuntu. All right, so for VirtualBox, we'll follow the instructions here. Boom. It's gonna take you here to a virtual box, and then from here, we're going to download Windows Host. And then we download the Windows Host. And if you guys aren't following along with the Odin Project's foundations, um, the link is virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. Just Google virtualbox.org and you'll get there. And if any of you guys aren't following along with the Odin course curriculum to get to the virtual box, you just Google virtual box. And it's the very first one you see right here, Oracle VM virtual box. You can click on that and you can download virtual box 6.1. And once you have that installed, go ahead and open up that EXE and you'll end up on a screen like this. So you're not going to have the coding window that I have here. You're not going to have that yet. Okay. That's my new machine that I just made for coding obviously when I did my reinstall. So that's what I code on right now. Like I said, I used to dual boot, not anymore. I'm running from a virtual machine uh, until further notice. So once you're here, you're ready to get started. All right, so from here, we go back to the Odin project. And then from here, the Odin project recommends we use Zubuntu for our Linux virtual machine. Now, I, you can make a choice here. When I was dual booting, I used Ubuntu to dual boot. The Odin Project recommends you use Zoomubuntu, or is it Xubuntu? I always say Zubuntu. So the Odin Project recommends you use Zubuntu for your virtual machine. Now, when I dual booted, I used Ubuntu, which is the same thing without the X. So the only difference between the two is that the one with the X that the Odin Project recommends is a more lightweight version of Ubuntu. 
So if your computer hardware isn't the best, if you're running an older computer, an older machine, or you've used Ubuntu and you're lagging with it, then go ahead and set up Zubuntu. So because they want us to use Zubuntu, that's the one I'm gonna use in this project, in this video, okay? All right, so once you're ready to download that, just go ahead, click on Zubuntu here, and you're gonna start the download. So mine's downloading right now, right down there. In the bottom left, once that's done, we'll go ahead and jump to the next portion. All right, so once that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and set it up in the virtual box. Hey guys, future Michael here. So when recording this, I totally botched what was happening and did not pick up anything that I recorded. So I have to go in and re-edit this portion of the video. So don't mind me, I'm in my PJs, it's midnight, I'm tired, but we're gonna get through this together, okay? Again, don't worry about anything you see here, okay? To get our new virtual box up, we're gonna come right over here to this new big blue exploding button, okay? It says new. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna ask us for a name. We're gonna call it Zubuntu. I'm gonna call it Zubuntu 2, because I already have one there. All right, then we click next. It's gonna ask us to allocate an amount of RAM. I'm gonna set mine to 8,000, which is about half. I think the minimum you can use for the Odin project is like 2,048. Yeah, 2048 is the minimum they recommend. I like to go half, so I'm gonna use 8000. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click next. Now you're gonna get this window here that says hard disk, okay? And here you're just setting up the hard drive for your virtual machine, okay? So you're gonna create a virtual hard disk now. You click create. Then it's gonna ask you the hard disk file type. For here, you'll select VDI. It should be selected by default. And then just make sure it's the virtual box disk image, VDI, hit next. Then on this page where it says storage on physical disk, we're going to go ahead and make sure dynamically allocated is checked and then click next. And on this last screen, we're just allocating how much space we want to spend on our virtual machine. So we can give it any amount we want. Two terabytes is a little much. <laughs> All right. So if you're just starting, you're just doing the Odin project. I think the Odin project recommends 20 gigs. So you can just set it to 20 gigabytes right here. Just type in 20 right there. And then once you're done with this, you can create. If you want more space, if you want to use this for other projects and keep going and build more and more stuff, and you have the space for it, you can go ahead and add more than 20 gigabytes. You can go 50, 100, as much as you want. But for the sake of this project, I'm just going to do 20 here, okay? And then once you're done with that, go ahead and click Create. And once you click on Create, you should have a brand new Zubuntu right here, okay? And now, back to the Michael of the past. And now you should see your Zoom Ubuntu right here. So we see that's my coding one, ignore that one. But here it is, the new virtual machine we just made. Guys, guys, it's future Michael again. Past Michael was slacking. Past Michael was slacking so hard. Okay, so future Michael is going to bring this one home for the next little bit, all right? Again, it's, it's later here now. I think it's like 1230. So, time's moving forward, but we're gonna get through this together, okay? All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your new Zubuntu that you have created, your freshly created Zubuntu, you wanna go ahead and click on the settings button, okay? Right here, this little cog wheel, the yellow cog. You're gonna click on that, and then once you get this screen up, you're gonna click on system and then processor, okay? So you're gonna click on system down here, and then you're gonna navigate over to processor. Now, once you're here, you're gonna allocate how many CPUs you want to use. I gotta scoot this over a little bit. There we go. So you're gonna allocate how many CPUs you wanna use for your virtual machine. And you wanna grab this, you wanna make sure that this processor's right here is set to two CPUs, okay? Two CPUs is good. If you wanna use more, it might be overkill, but for what we're gonna be doing, the coding we're gonna be doing in the virtual machine for the Odin project, two is fine. If you have more than one monitor, you can come right down here to display. And where it says monitor count, you can make sure that's two. It's gonna be like the last little green bit right there. And then you wanna double check that your video memory is in the green, okay? So whatever it takes to get your, memory, your video memory into the green, make sure it's there. Mine's at 23 MB and it's just in the green so that way it's not dragging and burning out my video card and making it work even harder. Everything else here is gonna remain default. So don't touch the graphics controller, don't touch the acceleration, just leave all that default, okay? When that's done, you can go ahead and click the okay. All right, so we're gonna go to that Zubutu that we made earlier. We're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna to come to the storage area where it says 
storage. And right underneath it says controller IDE. So we're gonna come to this area and where it says optical drive empty here, we're gonna click on that. We're gonna click this first option here that says choose or create a disk image. And then from there, we're gonna click on that ISO that we downloaded earlier. So I'm gonna click on this Zubuntu 18.04.5. And then we're gonna click choose. All right, and once that's done, once you've selected the ISO as your file, from here, we're gonna go ahead and start the virtual machine. Now, if you got a different looking screen when you clicked on that option, it brought you to a menu like this, then from here, all you have to do is click add, and then add your ISO here, and then click choose, and you'll be good to go too, okay? So no matter what menu popped up, you'll be able to handle that, all right? All right, and with that, I think we're good to pass it back to past Michael for good. Fingers crossed on this one, guys. Feature Michael, out. And here we are. Now we have our ISO loaded into this Zubuntu right here. And now with all that done, we're gonna go ahead and click on start. All right, you're gonna get a little window like this that pops up and says that um, it's installing pretty much. You can close. With that and now you just wait your machine setting up Linux so just kind of hang out you're gonna get these pop-ups just close them when they open it's no big deal all right so once you're here you're not gonna try it you're just gonna click on install uh, language English for me and continue And then download updates while installing. Continue. Installation type. Now, don't freak out when you see this, okay? You can do the erase disk and install Ubuntu because it's erasing everything on your virtual machine, all right? It's not erasing your actual host computer. It's not, it's not affecting the host machine at all. This is for your virtual machine. So where it says erase disk and install Ubuntu, that's exactly what you wanna do, and click install now. And it's just a warning that says some stuff, the partition is going to be deleted. Uh, like I said, it's just your virtual machine. It's not your actual host PC. So go ahead, click continue. Where am I? We're just going to go with New York. Hit OK. Um, we'll name this one test. Computer's name, we can make it test virtual box. Pick username, test, password. Uh, you can make your password whatever you want. I know it's weak, I'm not worried about this. And from there, once you have your password and your information put in, hit continue. And now the install's going through. Hey guys, what's up? Future Michael here, cutting in. So this was a longer video. I decided to go ahead and break it up into two parts. First one focusing on the installation and the second one focusing on setting up your virtual machine, making it full screen, being able to run dual monitors, all that good stuff. Okay, so stick with it. At the end, you'll have a nice, wonderful virtual machine that can go to 1080p on your monitor without any issues and you can start your coding journey or just start getting in there and having some fun, okay? Thank you. Future Michael, that's still past Michael to me. If you guys had a harder time following this timeline than actually installing and setting up your virtual machine with Linux, then I did a good job, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this first video up here. Like I said, like he said, like we said, this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna have part two up tomorrow going over actually running Linux for the first time and setting up everything and getting VS Code and everything all set up so you can start coding, okay? And kind of go over the terminal. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. Part two will be out soon. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. The link will be below. I will also have a link to the Odin Project Foundations course to the exact segment, the exact chapter, the exact spot where they talk about going through the virtual machines and setting them up. So if you need a physical reference, if you need to read something, read along, that will be there with you too, down in the comments. And uh, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'm out. Peace.